How would black people survive on this planet if white people didn't exist? Some people might think of this as a joke, but this is actually a very serious question. Amazing viewer, thank you so much for stopping by Comfort for Life Network. Thank you for spending your precious time with me. I appreciate for your love and support for my content. I don't take for granted all the comments that you're sending to me, guys. I appreciate. Thank you so much. It's another trending video on TikTok. Yeah, I came across this video on my for you page and it was raising a lot of concern you know it's rose concern that's why i brought it here just to remind you that this channel is for educational purposes and all the contents you come across on this channel are for educational purposes so kindly as you leave your comments try to leave it instructional and also show respects to people on this platform so this is the video and yeah this guy was saying that african would not will not can never you know survive without the western you know and so it shows a lot of concern and we are not attacking the person right here just remember but we are we want to learn something from what he said he got some good arguments here that i would want you to listen to let me let you listen to the whole video for context so that you yeah you get the full point of what he means by saying that because that's a very heavy statement you know yeah it's very heavy and let, let, let's let's listen to what he has to say. How would black people survive on this planet if white people didn't exist? Now, some people might think of this as a joke, but this is actually a very serious question. There is nowhere on this planet an example of a self-sustaining and successful and thriving black community. I mean, let's take Africa, for example. Um, the whole world is constantly is constantly providing aid and supporting Africa from all over the world, from America, from Europe, from Russia, from China. All these major self-sustaining countries are constantly providing aid and helping Africa survive. Same thing here in America. We have all these programs like Section 8 housing, welfare, food stamps to help out the black community. Don't forget to leave your thoughts kindly, but let me let you listen to some of the few stitches that I put together of people who had reacted to this particular video. Well, I know. Listen to you know all those towns that y'all burnt down? Yeah, we still have those. You know, the generational wealth that was taken from all those families? Yeah, we still have that. We still have our land. More of us will be able to live out our life expectancy. None of the genocides would have happened. Our ancestors' bodies wouldn't be under parking lots. Nature wouldn't have been attacked. The sun wouldn't have been hit from us. Our ancestors' ancient symbols wouldn't be warped into today's nonsense. Our ancestors' tombs wouldn't be dug up because y'all trying to explore shit. Our kids wouldn't have to get raised to learn how to exist in an anti-black world. We wouldn't be getting fed poison or trying to find the most unnatural way to do things. The white man has stolen every single resource out of Africa, including people. The truth is you will always point your finger at black people because that's what you do. That's what white supremacists do. And you, sir, are a diehard white supremacist. You will always be pointing your finger at black folks and you will never point your finger at white people. You will never point your finger and acknowledge what we've done in the most serious way without a big fat deflection, without a big fat denial, without a big fat butt in it. You need white supremacy because that's your fucking crutch. So the difference between white people and black people is you, sir, white people are morally inferior race because we continue to support, uplift and enable white supremacy. That's our fucking crutch. And that's why we're inferior morally. And that's why you will never, ever acknowledge all the shit that white man has done to black people today and yesterday. Thanks. We could just go to the grocery store without having to worry about if we're going to make it back home. And most importantly, some motherfucking peace. I honestly just fantasize about the day that Yakub was not fucking born. Yakub, why? Can I stand you people? Black people never needed Europeans to help them survive. They were doing just fine before colonization. And not just black people, but people of color all over the world. Native Americans, Pacifica people, Asians, you name it. None of these ethnic groups ever needed Europeans to help them survive. But in fact, our people had to find new ways to survive because of Europeans. They took our lands or took us from the motherland. They gave our people over 30 diseases. They slaughtered our people. 
They as aid our people. They try erasing our culture. They try erasing our languages. Not once the Europeans ever helped our people to survive. We had to learn new ways to survive. But we were doing just fine without y'all. If white people were to disappear, we would still be doing just fine. Even better than now. Looking at the expression on this man's face, you will see how he's he was confused he was like how would somebody think like this you know he didn't say much but just seeing the expression on his face was really something you know he didn't know how would somebody look behind my phone to see if there was more to this but there's not I, I don't I mean, how how can somebody even think this i don't I just didn't exist. Easily. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Probably easily. And like, they would probably be like colonizing space by now. It's more like, what would you guys have done if we didn't exist? It is clear and obvious. It would have been better off. Better off. <laughs> even animals would have been better off. Jeez, even the planet would have been better off. Like, for real, aside from pillage, murder, rape, what else have they done? Uh, I'll wait. I will wait. White people didn't exist. Safely. That is a great question. Let's test it. Do you wash your legs? Do you? said that this was a very serious question and not a joke. And I agree, it's not a joke. But what I immediately don't agree with is how unserious this question really, really is. You do not have to be a history major to know that there have been dynasties, kingdoms, empires, X, Y, and Z, well beyond colonization and any of the damage that envelopians did across the globe. You also don't have to do any deep dives of history to know that Africa has constantly been having its resources stolen from various European countries. Rather it be France, actually just Europe, you know, girl, just Google the Queen's crown, okay? But if we're really going to sit here and discuss, like, how would this demographic of people go about life without this demographic of people, we have to really be honest, like, be very, very honest, because who built the country? And who required slave labor to build the country? So if you couldn't even do it yourself, I don't know how you're even asking the question of where would we be without you? We would have already built the stuff without all of the violence because we was doing that shit naturally. Literally, they got their designs and shit from us. Even when we look at the way welfare and food stamps and these different government assistant programs work, I could have swore it was a very easily Google Googleable and we had already found out some years ago that the highest demographic in America that uses these were envelopians. So where would you be without our help? Because y'all also wouldn't have had that if it wasn't for the Black Panthers. And every Black History Month, I encourage not only black folks, because I mean, that's already for us, but it's very easy also and very Googleable to look up inventions from black people, things that y'all use that we use in our day to day lives, rather it be controlling traffic, keeping your food, your food cold, being able to know where the fuck you're going via GPS, computers. Every time motherfuckers go to space, like you have to thank black women and black men and <laughs> for quite literally damn near everything in this country. So to sit there and say, where will we be? We would quite literally be far more advanced than we are now because we would have had nobody disrupting the fucking flow. Thing it's because, you know, Africa is con constantly getting aid from other countries. And my question to him is if he thinks black people could never survive without white people. So before colonization, before slave trade before um people started going to other continents you know uh, taking their boats and stuff you thought africa had no one living on it you thought people didn't have their own community where people did their own farming at now this is the shit why i believe it when people say some people from america are stupid this is an example I'm not saying all Americans are stupid, but this is a prime example of that stupidity. 
a really prime example. Now, I'm my own person. I'm a strong black woman. So, so why are people in Eastern DRC being made to be refugees on their own land? Why are they being unalived in their millions since 1996? Because this conflict is not new. It is decades long. Why is this happening to them? Eastern DRC, some of the most beautiful land, some of the most mun mineral rich land. This place is extremely rich in gold, diamonds, coal tan. I don't know what is left to say, but I would want to mention that the white man is still at work. So I don't know what to tell you, but you know what's happening. And this is, I don't want to say much because they were going to limit ads on my video if I speak a lot on this. But yeah, it's still happening. From what you see there, the nature, the good land and everything, to being refugees in your own land. So that's what they do. What else can I say? Were we better off? Are we better now? What's happening? What's left to say? That was it about this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, share the video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me your thoughts kindly. Goodbye for now. I appreciate the other things in the dirt in the Congo, there's a lot of uranium there. And in fact, the uranium that was used in the bombs dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki came from a mine not too far from Kolowezi. And it was bought by the Manhattan Project from the Belgians at that time and put in those two bombs. Yeah.